Public outdoor spaces have become a necessity for communities and businesses due to COVID-19 and have encouraged community engagement in new ways. Our research funded by ICAP focuses on developing outdoor structures that will aid communities by providing a variety of shelter forms that are adaptable for different uses, while also introducing interactive aspects to pedestrian areas. The intention of the shelter design was to create temporary and lightweight structures with as few components as possible for a user-friendly assembly. The shelters reference traditional origami tessellations to create a modular system giving users the ability to personalize the structures to their specific needs. In our research, we have started to explore the digital fabrication processes that make these structures possible through 3D printing onto textiles. For the printing process, we would print a couple layers of filament, pause the print, and secure the mesh to the printing bed with tape. The print then resumes, and as more layers are printed, the filament bonds to itself through the mesh. Here are a couple of our study models of different form concepts. We're using Grasshopper scripts to visualize and model the folding components of the origami using Kangaroo plugins. We give the script a mesh input along the folding pattern by specifying mountain lines, the lines where the origami folds upwards, and valley lines where the origami folds downwards. Running the script then generates a simulation of the origami folding. We are working to develop the script so that we can generate different forms from the pattern since it's versatile and can be applied to various uses such as furniture, canopies, and architectural forms. We used an industrial robot arm fitted with a pellet-fed extrusion system to create large-scale components out of fiberglass reinforced PETG. The frames are constructed using multiple choreographed single outline extrusions. A fiberglass screen is placed and embedded within the print between base layer programs and upper layer programs. Once fabricated, the framework was removed from the print area and folded to create a self-supporting structure. Moving forward, we are planning to start incorporating structural components into the frame system to give the forms more rigidity for safe public use. Our team would like to thank ICAT for funding this research and the AMP Lab and CDR for giving us access to small and large scale printers.